Now we know so many, if not all, about the etiquettes of ma and manners of dining or eating and drinking. But how did we know about these manners? You know, in Islam, our sources that teach us are Quran, Sunnah, means the hadith of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, or Sira and his life. Here are some hadith from Prophet Muhammad وسلم, showing some of the, of the dining etiquette. Let's read the first one. The Prophet وسلم, did not allow breathing or blowing in a bowl or a container of food. So here is a new etiquette, actually, from which we learn that Prophet Muhammad وسلم, did not allow us to breathe or blow in the food. But some people blow once the, once the food is hot. No, that's not the recommendation of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, Actually, if your food is hot or your drink is hot, you just need to, you need to leave it for a while till he is warm, till it is warm or cold. But we are not allowed to blow it. Why? For the simple reason that once you blow in it, the germs will, will go directly to your food. Which, not, which is not healthy at all. So never breathe or blow in your food. Keep it till it is warm or cold and you, will, you are able to eat it. The second hadith, the Prophet وسلم, said, the blessing descends in the middle of the food. So eat from the edges and do not eat from the middle. Let's explain this hadith. Suppose you have, I mean, you are eating from your meal or from your dish. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said that the blessings is in the middle of the food. The blessings or what we call in Arabic, barakah. The blessing of that food lies in the middle, lies in the middle of your food. So you can find it in the middle of the food. So not to finish that blessing, it's better to start eating from the edges of your dish. So not to finish your blessings. So till you finish your food and the blessings would be there. The third hadith, Prophet Muhammad وسلم, never criticized any food. If he liked it, he would eat it. And if he did not like it, he would leave it. We all know that we, sometimes we don't like all the kinds of the food. I have some kinds of food that I don't like to eat. That's okay, that's logic that can happen with all the people. But in case you have some food that you don't like, you don't have to criticize it. You don't have to say, mm, I don't like it. I don't like the smell of this food. So never criticize the food. Always remember that this is a blessing from Allah. And we, we have to be satisfied with all the blessings of Allah. We never criticize them. But if you don't like it, no one will force you or oblige you to eat it. Just keep it without giving any, uh, uh, sorry, without saying any bad thing about it, without criticizing it. And let's now discuss this fourth hadith. The Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, instructed to eat together for achieving blessings. Jabir, may Allah be pleased with him, reports from the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, that the most desirable food is which is taken by many hands. 
What do you understand from the hadith? Yes, actually, we do understand that it's better to eat with others, it's better to share your meal or your food with others than eating alone, than eating individually. Why? As our Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, that the blessings are achieved when eating together. I mean, the blessings that you will have are more when eating together than when eating alone. See now, so many manners of etiquette that we all should abide by to get these blessings, to protect our health, and to have a healthy food habit or eating habit. We can discuss them together. So, first we have to say Bismillah before we have to wash the hands. Then say Bismillah and start. In case you forget to say Bismillah at the beginning, say Bismillah awwalahu wa akhiru. Bismillah in the name of Allah at the beginning, at the end, and at the end. Also, once you are done with your feeding, uh, with your eating, sorry, we have to say Alhamdulillah. During eating, we don't have to blow into the food if it is hot, just leave it. Also, if you don't like the food, serve it to you. Don't criticize it, just leave it and don't eat. You can find something else that you, that you like. Eat from in front of you. Never eat from in front of others. Better to share your food with others and not to eat alone. And eat from the edges of your dish because the blessings are in the middle of, the, of your dish. So these are the main manners that we all should abide by and never forget while eating or drinking.